Here we're going to be quickly covering the project data entry tab in ComCheck. This is the desktop version. I'm using it because of uh, something I'll get into a little bit later. Um, but the web version looks very similar. Um, has a lot of the same menus and windows, the same uh, look. Main thing you want to check is that your um, code that you're complying with, it listed at the top here, is correct for your project. Um, to change it, you click on the code menu here. You can select uh, the four most recent ASHRAE standards, the four most recent IECC codes, and they also have some available local codes here. Next most important, site location. If you pick the wrong location, you might get the wrong climate zone. Um, that climate zone is going to impact your UA um, allowance for your envelope tab, so making sure that is correct is very important. Next. Um, Entering your building area type. In this case, it is a library, but you can see there's a full list of facility types here. Um, and that's going to impact your building area method wattage allowance. If, however, you select to follow the space by space method, that brings up a table here. That table will allow you to select various um, area types. And that gives you a little more flexibility over your interior lighting data entry. But we'll go back to the building area method just for simplicity on this uh, review. Um, there's not much difference between data entry for those. Exterior lighting, you select your exterior lighting zone. This is the zone one through four table that is in the IECC. Uh, so you've picked the uh, zone here that describes most closely where your building is being built. And it will select that zone one through four for you. And that determines your wattage allowances here. And then you'll select your exterior lighting areas. Uh, you can see there's a full list here. Based on those areas, it will uh, determine your wattage allowance. It will also, helpfully, uh, show you here whether those are tradable or not. Um, so you can, if you go over your wattage allowance here, you can bump some of that overage here. As long as the total wattage allowance for these two together is less than uh, what's calculated, um, you'll be in compliance. For these, these are not tradable, so if you go over the allowance for this, uh, your exterior lighting will show non-compliance down here. Some things to note, most of this information over here is just informational for the code official. Um, however, uh, high-performance HVAC will limit the available HVAC systems in the mechanical tab, and reduced lighting power will reduce your uh, wattage allowances for space by space and building area method by 10%. Um, that is that compliance uh, efficiency package. There's also a helpful uh, screen that pops up here if you click on any of those help windows. It gives you some more details. The thing I want to note, reduce lighting power density. Notice here it says that you must use the building area method. That is a holdover from the uh, 2012 IECC. That is not a limitation for the 15 and 18 IECCs, except on the web version. Uh, that limitation is still in place but it's due to be corrected in the next uh, update to the web version. So hopefully that will be changed soon. 